Salvation Army of Dane County doesn't have space for everyone who requests shelter, especially during the summer. A new pilot program is helping families avoid a shelter in the first place. Our Madeline O'Neill shows us how it works. Bubakins. Raising a child is tough, even more so when you don't have a place to stay. I was having problems with my mom, so I was going to friends' house to friends' house recently and made his dad took his um, life. The Salvation Army of Dane County is offering a spot for Mary Savannah and her son Styles. They are one of about 24 families who can stay, but with limited capacity and demand only increasing, Social Services Executive Director Melissa Sorensen says the shelter has to turn down about five families every night. We want to be able to try to keep those beds available for someone who literally has nowhere else to go. Through a diversion program started in January, a Salvation Army case manager works with families seeking shelter to see if they can stay with friends or family instead, perhaps by offering a grocery voucher or assurance the stay will be temporary. Really try to problem solve other options. It is very stressful. Formerly homeless, Mary Nicholson now works for the organization that sheltered her and her children 20 years ago. There is hope. And says if families can bypass shelter, they can avoid stress while securing stable housing. As much as we do to make this as pleasant as it can be, it's not. And every space that's freed up from a family diverted means a place to go for a family Thank who you. needs it. <laughs> it's good to have a place to stay. Come on. Since the start of the year, the Salvation Army has been able to divert more than 100 families, which is more than 80% of the new families seeking shelter. The diversion program's case manager also found 15 of those families permanent housing. Melan O'Neill in studio with us. Maddie, thank you.